pissed off. That's a bold shell. Come over here. We got a grenade. Gray canister for loading up the water pellets. Some bullets. Some foam tip bullets here. Silencer. Some goggles. Goggles for safety. Magazine. So the water pellets, dehydrated, and the pistol. Again, it's supposed to shoot the shell out. Do it on. Oh, yeah! That was so cool. All right, do it again. That's literally the coolest. It is. is. The coolest pistol ever. It is. I was going to go over. I'm literally going to. I really want that for Christmas. That's the one I want. So what do we think? It's pretty good. Pretty awesome, right? Let's get the action. A whole bunch of bullets. We need to get the action of this. Okay. So let's move the stuff to the side. So, alright, so 
You can also, so you can use the, the gel balls as instead of the little foam darts there. So, uh, the goggles Actually, not the goggles. Put them on your face. Alright, cool. There you have it. The gold plated pistol with silencer, two magazines, a whole load of ammo, safety glasses, and the container to fill up the water gel balls just a bit of warning with this gun this looks extremely real from a distance it does not have an orange tip on it so if you carry this in public which i would highly recommend you do not do uh, make sure it remains concealed for safety
right, so what are we doing now? So we have the grenade canister, right? We're gonna open it up and fill it with one bag of these uh, pellets, which will then turn into the gel balls. So this is, each pack has 250. We're just gonna put in one pack and then add some water. got our gel balls in here once, once those fill up it takes about four hours once I get the full size you can pour them into this canister and then when you're ready to load the shells with the gel ball pop that in there and it'll load it up for you okay so it's been more than four hours you can see that the little pellets have turned into these you know, full-size gel balls, aka Zorbies, or Orbies, one or the other. Uh, so, yeah, Orbies. So what we're gonna do is pour out the majority of the water without spilling any of the Orbies or gel balls. Okay, and then... There's still more water. To act as a sort of strainer, we're just gonna take this paper towel and lean it over. Okay, so throw that away. Now, we're gonna take the four bees, put them inside this grenade looking thing. Carefully. I'm not gonna do too many because we only have eight bowls, but you could fill it up if you want. Okay, now this little opening here, see? There's a little spring-loaded mechanism in there. Yeah. Take the first one. So right now this is clear. You can see right through it. So we're gonna load up. Oh, let's see how we do. That did not work. Okay, put that back in there for now. That did not work. Oh boy. Question is how far does it need to go into the board? Uh, it's a double. All right, so we're gonna test one and see how we do. And we'll fire the weapon with that one and test it out. All right, so here we go. Here's attempt number one. Why would you shoot gel balls if the war? It doesn't make sense. We'll see the bullet get loaded there. <laughs> and test fire. Oh, oh! It exploded. So after you shoot a gel ball, it exploded. Yep, it exploded. Okay, so we decided to take this outside so that the gel balls don't explode all over inside the house. So we're at about a 10 foot range aiming at the backboard on this basketball hoop. Go ahead, Jake. You missed. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I got two. Let me try one. Oh, I did. Nailed it. Oh, oh, oh. Last two shots. Got one. One more. That went over there. Hit the fence. All right, so we're back inside. Uh, very hard to keep track of these in the grass in the dark. So there's one outside somewhere. Uh, with the gel balls, the Orbeez, you're not really going to be able to reuse them. They usually explode on contact, even though they don't shoot that hard. Uh, and especially when you're shooting outside, you're really not going to find them. The little Nerf uh, foam darts, those are also a little bit difficult to find if you're not in a very clean area. So you may want to consider that. So overall, it's a lot of fun. 
Uh, you get a ton of these Orbeez, so you don't really have to worry about those getting destroyed or, or trying to find them if they happen to survive. And that's pretty much it for the video, so. Always like and subscribe. Yep, and be sure to set alerts and look for future videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.